Welcome to a very chaotic bookshelf tour. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now for today's video, I'm doing part one of my bookshelf tour. Now you guys are probably wondering, part one? Why can't you just do a whole bookshelf tour with all the different parts? Well, the reason is because I have a lot of books. I have a lot of books on my floor. I have a lot of towers here. I have the Towers of Shame just right on the corner right here. All the books that I have to haul to show you guys on my channel. All the books that don't fit on my shelf are sitting right next to me. And it takes quite a bit of time for me to kind of just shift books here and there just to show you everything that is on my shelf. So for this video, I'm going to be showing the bookshelves that are right behind me. They are usually where you can see when I'm sitting at my desk, they're in the back. Those are the bookshelves that I usually put my YA books and I have some historical romance there. And then I also have some women's fiction and chick lit novels too as well. Um, also, this is where I keep all the books that I have to show you guys when I do a book haul but I didn't really go through the towers because I figured that I could show you guys when I do those book hauls someday so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and stick around subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see part two part three and probably part four because I have three four four more sections in my room where I have a lot of books so this is going to be the shelf that I am going to be showing you today So starting from the far left corner, we have this tower of books here. So these books are actually all early 2000s chick lit romance novels. I feel like that these novels feature the same theme, which is working like our female heroine is working in the corporate world and they fall in love. I also have some indie romances snuck in there too as well and then some very obscure titles that we normally don't see but in thrift stores that I managed to pick up. I'm not going to show everything but basically the books that are stacked behind there are just literature novels like they're fiction novels maybe some classic books that I do still have an interest of reading as you can see American Psycho is peeking out at us Life of Pi, Catch-22, Julia and Julia are also there as well. So if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys would know that I've been addicted to eBay buying for the last year but I've since stopped like I feel like I'm pretty good at eBay book orders now because I got everything that I wanted. This is just one of the lots that I got which is from Victoria Alexander. I've heard of her before I haven't really read too many of her books and I just wanted her lot because it looked like it had a lot of step backs so I placed all my Victoria Alexander books here as well as some Sandra Hill books that have just also snuck in there too as well. Next up here we have our Monica McCarty like lot so this is like part of her I think 12 book series that I managed to snag all up in a lot which I was pretty proud of. I've read one Highlander novel from her and I really liked it so that's why I have a lot of her books. Then we also have some more Highlander novels here as well. So this is just like a new edition but basically I lost a Jennifer Ashley lot on eBay like I didn't bid high enough so I calculated it and I thought that it was going to be cheaper anyways for me to buy the books new so I ended up buying this whole entire series that Jessica from Peace Love Books loves or that she actually really enjoys so I just kept it here because I don't really have any space and as you can see here, it's kind of just like sitting on the edge of the bookshelf. Then up here, you can see that I have a bunch of young reader middle grade novels. I've been really liking this series called Mindy Kim and it's from Lila Lee. It's about a little girl who is Korean American trying to figure out her identity in school with her single father parent. And then we have another series that features a Filipino like main character. I think she is half white and then half Filipino and she is actually an ice princess. And so here is the book and I'm really excited to read this one too. I think it's going to be super cute from how I just like quickly flip through it in the bookstore. So I had to get a couple of those in the series. Next, as you guys can see here, there's just some stuff that's happening here. And I just like to say that this is where I keep my university degree. Yes, I went to Ryerson University. I graduated already. 
bada bing bada boom i just keep it up here because i never bought a frame to frame my degree as you can tell my degree didn't really mean too much to me okay so moving up here as you can see i have more historical romances that i kept keep up here um so we have some Catherine smith never read her before susan sizemore and these are just i guess like random books that came in lots that i didn't have too many of from the author so i just grouped them and mixed them up together i have some deborah mullins samantha james i also keep historical romances near me when they have really nice step backs so let's see if i can pull one up that shows you that i have a step back of course the one that i pick up doesn't have a step back at all so completely goes against what i just said and my room is definitely not decorated the nicest but i just want to quickly show you that i have literally printed out pictures of my favorite bands on my wall so this is tokyo police club they literally play some of the songs that saved me in my high school and university years and I still really appreciate their old stuff so definitely go check them out on Spotify if you like quirky indie rock music. Next, as you guys can see here, this is just like my shelf of Harlequin novels filled with candles that I actually don't light up and smell. Um, these candles are used for my Instagram purposes only and sometimes I feel like they're a waste of space but let's take you on a closer tour of what's actually on these bookshelves though. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys don't know who I am already, you can probably know from how I shove things in between my books that I have a type B personality. I'm very messy. So here is just a stack of things that I want to take a quick gander because I completely forgot what I shoved in between my stacks. So I have Tokyo Police Club CDs. This is Melancholy and the Infinite Ratness Part 2. Then I have some K-pop stuff. This is XO and of course this is Sehun. He is one of my favorites from XO. Then we have a postcard of Malaysia and I think I got this from one of my best friends because she went to Malaysia in the summertime and she got me a postcard. We have another postcard. This is Paris. So I believe she went to Malaysia and then she also went to Paris. She basically lived my dreams and went to all these beautiful places. Then we have a note. It is a happy birthday card. And obviously I'm not gonna show you the note, but my friend gave me a quick little doodle at the bottom. We have another Paris postcard, which is pretty cool. And then I have another Tokyo Police Club CD. This one is actually signed by the lead singer. His name is Dave. Very excited. As you can tell, I don't even know where the freak the CD is. Oh my goodness, am I a fake fan? I lost the CD. Jesus, oh my goodness. And then I have another Tokyo Police Club CD. This is Melancholy and the Infinite Ratness Part 1. Really like the design of these have another one it's Tokyo Police Club Force Field I love Force Field Force Field is such a good album really connected with all the lyrics to it and then finally I have another cute birthday card and then I just thought it was really interesting about this shelf I know it looks like garbage right now but it is garbage but I thought it was really funny uh, that I have a universal charger on my shelf uh, just in case when I go on vacation I need it um, as you can tell it's really dusty because I haven't been on vacation for like maybe two years now and even if I go on vacation usually the hotels and the Airbnbs have universal chargers so basically I spent a lot of money on Amazon buying a useless plug next as you can see here there is Sailor Mars I love Sailor Mars love her but as you can see there's this dusty piece of chocolate here and there's actually a story behind this um i graduated with an accounting degree i absolutely hated accounting i did not like it i was literally gonna fail and one of the hardest classes that i find to grasp is tax like tax is just really complicated but i enjoyed tax a lot because I had a really great professor. And one of the things he did was to calm us down, was to give us this piece of chocolate before our very last exam with him. And I never ate the chocolate and I kept it here. And it's been probably five years, but it's a memory sake and I just keep it there. 
So moving on to my top shelf here, as you guys can tell in my new videos, um, there are fairy lights in the background now because I thought that my background was too boring. I needed something to cheer up my videos and to make it more interesting. So I hung up some fairy lights, but as so you can tell that all these wires are just kind of like fallen and it's because the tape that I'm using is very weak. And of course I can tape it back and use proper tape, but I have literally couldn't find the tape for the last 10 minutes when I started filming this video, so you're gonna get some wires. Literally, my bookshelf tour is a mess, but I do not care. So as you can tell, this is my YA shelf. So all these books I bought from Book Outlet especially, and I also bought from like Chapters Indigo and probably like from the stores itself. So I've since taken a step back from reading YA, but I still like to keep YA on my shelves just in case I want to revisit those times of pretending that I'm still in high school and pretending that my biggest worry is picking out a major to study in and picking out like the career I want to pursue when I'm already in my like mid late 20s now and I'm focusing on other things but I still like reading YA so that's why I still continue to buy certain YA books that I think I'll really enjoy. A couple stories here that I really want to pick out to read is of course Wonder. It's about a kid who basically has been born with like a face dysmorphia and it's uh he gets bullied for it and I want to read something like that because I feel like it's going to be very like inspiring and then I also want to read a full love story because I've never read a Vietnamese American YA novel before and I really like representation especially in the Asian culture. Um, I just have a couple of Jessica Brody novels here because I've read some of hers that I really enjoyed. I have Alex Approximately um, that I've heard amazing things about. There's Slayer by Kirsten White who is an author that I grew up with. I never read her Buffy the Vampire retelling before so I'm excited to read that one. We also have Emily Henry there that I haven't read yet. It's her YA novel. I don't know how this bookshelf tour is going to go because I have a lot of books that are just stacked in the back. These are the books that I still want to read someday but they're not in like near the top of my TBR at all. Sometimes I regret going on book outlet during my years back in university buying book outlet books because I tend to buy like the really obscure titles or I buy titles that aren't really popular but I still find them interesting and these are the titles that I don't think anybody wants to talk about, anybody wants to, you know, see. But I'm still interested in reading the non-popular titles and that's why I keep it here. But now that I don't read YA anymore or I don't read too much of it, I feel like I wasted a lot of money by spending so much money on books that I don't really care about but I still want to read. I guess here is the fun stack which is all the Babysitter's Club books that I managed to find from thrift stores. Ever since the Babysitter's Club premiered on Netflix, there have been so many people selling Babysitter's Club books for so expensive online because everybody just wants to have the vintage covers. And I managed to grab these like probably 25 cents a piece. All right, so this shelf is where it gets a little bit tricky. As you can tell, I have some books blocking the access of it, so I can't really pull out the books. And I think you're familiar with the corner that I am in right now if you have been following my channel for some time. This is the corner of shame. These are all the books that I have to haul to show you in a book haul. Yes, these three towers of mass paperbacks are books I've never shown before. Plus, in addition to these two towers down here that's kind of obscuring my fourth shelf on this bookshelf that are also books sent to me from publishers that I have to haul. So once again, this is my YA shelf. This is where I keep all the books that I want to read that are from YA specifically. Just taking like a quick gander, I know that Shuffle Repeat by Jen Klain is going to be super cute. Uh, Spirit Hunters, The Big F. And one of my favorite titles is actually this title from Sp Stacy Cade, I think that's her name. So the first book is The Ghost and the Goth, and then it's Queen of the Dead and Body and Soul. And it's basically about a high school cheerleader who died, and now she has turned into a ghost. But the only person who could see her is our goth student, and it's super cute, and I keep it on my shelf because I just want to read it so badly. We have why a fantasy and dystopian worlds here as well that i really enjoy that i want to read very soon 
We also have some more YA fantasy. We have Wonder Woman, Catwoman. We have all these different authors here as well that I still want to read. I know I don't read YA fantasy that much, but I really want to read the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. And I guess we still have some papers to really dive into. Like, what are these? I do not know. So I think these are just all birthday cards in reality. So I have this birthday card celebrating my 24th birthday. I am now 26. We also have another birthday card in here probably. Oh, it's so beautiful. I completely forgot I got these cards. And then we have like this drawing, this art drawing that I got from my office Christmas party. They hired an illustrator there and she drew me like this. I really like this. It's super cute. And then we have a bookish item sent to me from an author. It's just a poster of her book cover. And I got this really pretty like postcard called Cowflix for my birthday. So as you can see, this is my YA fantasy dystopian shelf. I have all the popular YA series here that I really wanted to read. Marie Lu is a really great author. I want to read Stephanie Meyer. I want to read Shadow and Bone. All these series. Okay, so moving to this weird shelf that I have here. Normally I wouldn't put mass paperbacks on this shelf, mostly because it's too wide and it's like, as you can tell, like the mass paperbacks don't really fit side by side in like columns all here. But I was literally running out of so much shelf space and I decided to clear out this shelf that was filled with like random hardcovers and like Harlequin paperbacks to really put the really pretty historical romances that I've since gathered on this shelf so that I can have easy access to it for looking purposes, for Instagram, for maybe booktube, I don't freaking know. So these are just some of my favorite covers that I like to keep in my room. Like, I don't know if I should go through it one by one, but you've probably all seen it already in my book hauls because I always make sure to talk about all the recent historical romance books that I did buy. So as you can see here too as well, I've kept books in this weird situation here because I had like empty space here and I didn't know what to do with it. But yeah, this is just the shelf of all the books with really pretty covers that I really want to look at from day to day. You know, when you clicked on to this bookshelf tour, I wasn't going to show you a really pretty bookshelf. I was going to show you the nitty gritty, the dirty stuff, the stuff that you'll probably see in a hoarder's room, like an episode of Hoarders, or maybe like stuff you'll see in a used bookstore. But this is how messy my books are, like literally. So these are where my Harlequins are, and then I also have some YA books over there that I can't really show you. I also have a cup here that's just filled with props and sunglasses and like things I got from authors such as Darcy Burke. I got a candle here that I actually burned because I really like the smell of it. This one is a sugar cookie one that I want to burn in the fall and the winter time because I think it'll smell really nice and back here really is just a mess of random stuff that I don't know where to put in my room so I have my classic novels that I think are really pretty as you can see you can see a phone cord that's just running through out of nowhere I still have another stack of historical romances there as well like come on Lisa I don't know what to say if this causes you anxiety sorry Okay, so this isn't a bookshelf tour anymore. This is just like the corner tour. This is where I put the stuff that I use for my videos or for Instagram, but let's just take you on a tour anyways, because maybe somebody's curious about the trash that I have in my room. So first off, we have a bag of chips here. This is a cuttlefish snack. It's a Korean snack that I really freaking love. I keep a bag in here just in case I get hungry in the middle of the night and I wanna eat. But as you can see, I've been saving it because this is a very small bag. Next, we have some headbands that I use in my videos. I like to wear stuff in my hair to like keep myself looking interesting. Sometimes I use them because I have baby hairs flying all over the place and I need to like push the hairs back. So I switched my camera and as you can tell, I need better sound quality. So I had to buy a mic and this is where I keep my mic. Nothing too fancy here, but I have Gorilla Tape because I needed to mount something on my wall, but I gave up that project a long time ago and now I have Gorilla Tape. 
Yay. We have a wireless keyboard here that I don't use at all. I bought it off Amazon and I decided that I don't need it, forgot to return it. So I'll probably sell this later. BT21 recently launched in Canada and my sister was able to get me some cute stuff. This is a baby coaster. It's RJ, so freaking cute. And then I have a cheese balls notepad here with chimney on it that I obviously haven't opened yet. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to open it. It's just so freaking cute. Chimney looks so dumb. And then we have a poster of like Jisung from NCT Dream that fell down and I just never really put it back up. Lying here, as you can tell, NCT light stick that I bought at the NCT concert when they first came to Canada. And then we have a day six poster of Wan Pill here um, that I haven't put up, that I just bought for no reason. I used to really care about Instagram and like taking the nicest photos, so I spent a lot of money really to buy like these props, which I don't regret because I've used them for years and I still have them just in case I want to spice up my photos. And I just have a lot of flowers, crates, pens, like anything pretty that I can put in the photos. So I just want to take you to the floor for a bit. Um, as you can see here, it's pretty interesting. We have a giant box here. This is actually a box of Liz Carlisle books from eBay that I bought that I haven't taken out of the box yet because the hoarder in me tells me that if I don't take it out of the box, it's not really there and it's not really a problem. Plus, it's just easier to stack if they're still in the same box that they came in. So yes, I know that this is like literally key signs of being a hoarder. Please do not judge me. I am doing better, I swear. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, what the freak do you have on the bottom of the floor now? I have a box of mac and cheese. Um, You're probably like, okay, like Lisa, you're gonna start boiling water and make mac and cheese in your bedroom too. No, girl, no, or boy who's watching this. This is actually from a publisher. It was just a gift that they put. It's like supposed to be like from the book, like the book. The characters probably really liked mac and cheese and now i have lunch too as well so dinner and a book next as you can tell i have a bottle of wine on my floor yes i do this is actually from my publisher too as well i was promoting books and wine and they gave me a nice beautiful bottle of chardonnay from california i'm very excited to drink this yeah, you can tell that I'm freaking messy, but I keep plastic bags here because I don't know where the freak I'm storing them. These are just for garbage. I have a book tote back here from my friend Moods and Pages. I really like her stuff. This is just a mood reader tote. Here, I'll show you. Look how cute it is. Look how freaking cute it is. This is a thread. It's not a stain, trust. Um, I really like it. It's going to come in handy when I need to carry some books around town. But yeah, this is how it looks like that I don't show you on camera because am I embarrassed by it? Yes, but do I think you guys enjoy this messy part of me? Probably. If you don't, so sorry. And this is what I stare up at when I'm lying on the floor sometimes. All the books that could potentially kill me.